just another day at Calgary Transit. Nice. I've been on this bus before. It's got lots of pets. Except there's, you can't control it, right? So how have you been? It's been a minute. Good, I uh, wanted to come out last week, but I had a trip to Edmonton and that just wipes me. We were booked for two nights, but we only stayed for one because the hotel was just way too hot. They don't let you control your room heat. Uh, you tell me. I don't know. It was an older hotel too, like from the 80s. So it seems there's no pattern for you. I thought you were doing the 12 this week. So does it go 11, 11, 12, 12? Um, no, I do the 11 and then I do the 12 for two weeks starting next week. Because what did you do last week? 11, right? No, last week was the 98, 156. Oh, so I didn't miss much. Imagine doing it this week. Was it Vic Park? Yeah, it was Vic Park. Yeah. Yeah. Any change offs this sign up? Yeah. yeah, the airbag know. wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The airbag wasn't filling up. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, Guess what? what? There's a key out of Vic Park, the sign up, where a bus does a one and a two. It's an all day run. Imagine doing that. No, no thanks. It seems like Anderson's getting all the good work now. Like, I mean, all the tills are pretty much Anderson now. Oh, your spare week, what did you get? Just a stomach bug or something? Did someone take your work then? What, a couple of your friends? Oh yeah. You'll get it again sometime. And hopefully it's an evening key where it's not busy. Because if you do the till any later, the last one goes out of service before midnight. So it's not bad. 11.46 I think. Well, so what did you have? All the necessary stomach symptoms? Speaking of that, I did that a couple weeks ago on the side of Darefoot. Just motion sickness. 
But I mean, I had orange juice and grapefruit juice mixed together with lunch 30 minutes before I left to go on the road. So I'm thinking that could have been a part of it, right? Uh, acidic fruit is terrible on the stomach. And I had too much acidic fruit juice. And teriyaki meat for lunch, eh? Too much. Too much. And then going to in the car after, that certainly didn't help. We all push our limitations. It's like, I'm not going to do that again. Today I had to remind myself that you stop at the old Sundance. Stop. Because I haven't done the 11 since they changed the stop. You get one more 11, don't you, though? I do, yeah. How do you like getting mostly Anderson work? So good, yeah. So nice. I can leave like, you know, 15 minutes before I start. Guess what? Bus is 79.79. But I got some, uh, I'm hearing you guys are stepping up safety protocols. They're going to make announcements at stations now because the train has been a war zone. Did you hear about that? A lot of uni students are considering getting up an hour early and taking the bus there and having a hour longer commute rather than take the train. I heard that. Because this is ridiculous. I'm even thinking about making a video about it. Oh, I wanted to try uh, tell you, you know how we talk about rare soda flavors. It must be a seasonal thing. I tried ginger ale pomegranate by Canada Dry. Very tasty. It reminds me of a summer drink. You're outside doing stuff. Because everyone likes the famous cranberry. But I don't think the pomegranate ginger reel would do as good for an upset stomach. I think the original would be the best option for that. Did you have that when you were sick? And you think soda streamists are not? So I went to the Burger Priest and uh, you're going to be disappointed with my review. Our burgers were greasy. Made my dad feel bad after. Like I mean it was causing his acid reflux. So we're not going back there again. Just regular cheese bacon. And uh, yeah, it wasn't. Um... Well, when did you go? Yeah. And I don't. One thing I don't like, it's not really a family atmosphere. Like, I love Fergus and Bex for that. Well, didn't end up going we park there. Too frickin' small in there. They have like five tables. 
And I mean, it was a Friday night, so a bunch of teenagers were in there with their friends, which is fine. But they were all standing there because there wasn't enough tables. Like, I mean, fine for them, right? They sure don't mind um, standing eating a hamburger, but I want to sit down. I went to the Burger Priest fat night. But you know what? You think, oh, you think, uh, when, uh, we've been friends for quite a while. You think, oh, this place is really good. We're supposed to get up to 17 next week. That's the only thing about these Anderson buses. No AC. So the 78's running half an hour, right? Good you're not on that this week. So on that till week, you, what day did you actually work? Are you taking tomorrow and the Monday off? Oh. Yeah, I don't mind it. Because I don't start until 4 on Monday, so it kind of feels a little bit extra long. And there's no kiddos. What are you doing, Matt? Oh, and like you couldn't start the 12 at a better time on Easter Monday. Exactly. I'm surprised you're not taking that Monday off. Yeah, I got the Friday off. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's gonna be so weird not going through that neighborhood. Oh yeah. Because I did it on the 12 once, but not on here. Yeah, it's, it feels quicker. It's good. And I hear you leave Shaughnessy at different times now. It used to be 18, but they readjusted the schedules for the sign-up. Yeah, slightly different times, yeah. You left at 14.02 on... Uh, this trip, right? Out of Fish Creek. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. I don't know if you know Jerry. I wonder if he's still going. Well, this is Jerry's work. Yeah. Is he still active with transit? Yeah, he is. He's just on vacation. My God, he's probably the longest guys now. Yeah, one of them. Him, I always think of George on these routes. Oh, yeah. Can you believe it's been over two years since he's driven a bus? Yeah, that's crazy. So I wanted to tell you, 7632 is still going strong. The old girl didn't want to start after winter though. Um, he said the batteries went bad though. Oh, yeah. But when he bought the bus, that was the batteries that Transit had. And before he bought it, it was sitting in the grass, right? So they had to boost it for him when he bought it. Yeah. That's what happens when a bus sits, right? Yeah. But in the winter, he puts diesel stabilizer so the diesel doesn't go bad. Yeah. 
So did you guys go for a good drive? Like no, I I was busy that day, so the day he came out. But I'm in touch with him over Facebook. Okay. But what we're going to do next time, he's going to go top speed on their foot. Guess how fast he got his bus to go. 7632 topped out at 108. But he's like, he can only go 100 for a few minutes because his bus is 27 almost, right? Even though I know you would love to go top speed on a bus like this. I actually almost have. I was on 79.73 on the 153 and we were going a uh, 100k. Are we almost to Fish Creek already? Yep, just about here. My god. Is it just me or does it just feel quicker? Yeah. You didn't kick me off yet. I'm gonna do a review on that ginger ale pomegranate after trying it. Put it up on the YouTube. I'm trying to boost my following. I'm at 666 now. Triple six. When I see triple a number, I find it special. This bus hits 60k, absolutely no problem. It sounds healthy too. You must have been unhappy when you first saw it though. Give you 78.15 or something. Yeah. You've been lucky with a few of these. You said 7964 wasn't bad. Yeah, that one was okay too. Yeah. Did you have any more of these this week? Carter isn't too bad in this one. Normally these Winnipeg buses, I find the retarder so notchy and tight. I'll maintenance this bus every day for you and give you it. I'm sure you won't mind. Did you drive 7975? Yeah, because a, a few of the drivers I know are not a fan of these, but they say, like, I love 7975. Oh, okay. Guess what? You know the owner of 7632 was nice enough to use his, his 1046 video for an audio. Oh, yeah. I watch that every day. Really? And his, his video is great. He's going like, over 80k on dare fighting you can hear that jimmy just roaring it's a beautiful day why does this Bus sound like you're going faster than 60k, right? These rev up so high when you go 
to a certain speed. Remember when we did the 11 last time, you had that ding, the bells and wrestles? Oh, yeah. The fluid leak? though in the fleet yeah. they're pretty quiet like yeah. there's not a well I would say they're about moderate there's not a lot of there's uh, obviously when you go in the back it'd be pretty loud because you're near the engine but there's not a lot of noise yeah they're not bad like just to listen to it right now it's not bad. even at idle we're number 7815 though that thing was a Screamer. Right now, if you had it 60k, it would be screaming pretty good. I think this is my favorite Winnipegger. I would have to agree with you. Because it's 7979, so that's partially why. What they building new condos there? Did you notice that? Now this is when we're going to fill the retarder a little more down this hill. I was wondering what, when you signed up, was there a key available where you do the 11, then the 12, like in a day? VP doesn't have much uh, um, good work anymore, I noticed, say, eh? because Anderson's taking it all, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. Although I want VP drivers to still have some good work. Like, I mean, they may like the 56, not uh, the 456, the 98, and the 156, right? Not all drivers hate it. Everyone's gonna want the 12. Look at them there. Yep. There's gonna be one more coming in pretty soon as well. He's coming from um, Anderson. Uh, I, think so. I think it's all Anderson yes. up here now, pretty much. Uh, I, uh, that's wrong. I shouldn't say that. I see VP uh, buses in service here for rush hour. I wonder what Anderson's going to have 10 years down the road for buses. Yeah. They're going to have electrics. Yeah, baby. I love the diesels though, don't get me wrong. Do you shut her off or? No, I only have like three minutes. Whoa. Okay. How, um, fit three minutes? Wow. While they wanted to adjust the schedule, they're like, oh, you guys don't, your guys are like nine minutes early and you just sit here. Well, that's how it was for my first couple of trips. I had like ten minutes here. Well, I mean, it is rush hour, so. Mm -hmm. And you think of how much I stopped all, all the way here? Oh man, I wanted a Fanta from Mexico. If you go next time, 
try to get it in a bottle, right? In a bottle, it won't be as bad. But what you do before you give it to me, the night before, let it sit in the fridge so it simmers, uh, simmers down. But then you're going to work, right? That looked really good, and their logo's bigger, and it's a bit different. 